All right, guys, you can see that it's basically snowed out here. Um, about to take my, uh, take this slash out here for the first time after fixing the, uh, the main bearing here. So I'm just gonna go around this track to make sure I can get this whole stinking car here. Holy cow. I really can't even tell, guys, where the freaking track is. So I'm gonna have to back up right here. Oh, I'm way, I'm way off. See if I can get the everything in camera here. Here we go. So again, if you guys remember, the the uh, main bearing on this thing was toast. So I'm gonna try and holy cow! I'm trying to get in as much video as I can right now before the uh, snow starts coming back here. Probably got about a half an inch, maybe an inch of snow out here. Wow, it is very difficult to control this car, man. So as you know, this is the one I usually, whoa. This is the one I usually go ahead and, and uh, drive around most, but I do have my stock one out here today, which I'll race for you guys here in a little bit. Once I be, you know, beat up this track some here with this, with this car, holy cow. I am running those, uh, I am running the bow ties. I think this very soft compound here. Wow, very, very difficult to control this car. <laughs> I'm maybe using one tenth the throttle, guys, here. Maybe one tenth. But the car, of course, is sounding a lot better since I switched that main bearing after it blew up on me and put a new pinion in here. I had to put a new pinion and a new spur and a whole new, uh, again, a new pinion, new spur, and a new uh, uh, a new bearing and all that stuff in there. Because once the uh, bearing, well, bearing dips blew, it basically just tore up everything inside there. And I guess it didn't help that I ran it for 10 minutes afterwards either. <laughs> Man, very, very hard to control on this stuff. I'm hopefully I can just dig some of this out when I run my other car here. It'll, it'll hook up a little bit better here. Let's see if I can get some faster laps in here, guys.
All right, I don't know what happened there. I had some weird, uh, weird lipo cutoff stuff. I maybe I think I might have put the uh, one of my one of my bad lipos in here. I don't know. So I just went ahead and basically. Oh, see ya. All right, well that sucked. I'm not sure what happened. I just replaced a bunch of stuff on here. And listen, I don't know if uh, my Spurger got stripped again or or what. Anyway, so done for this truck. Time to get the stock truck.